Galactic Federation of Light Update, August 23, 2016. 1 Chicken, 8 Wuo, 13 Cobbin. Drazo. Much progress is now being made. There exists, among the elders and the various royal groups, a strong and unaccountable worry that somehow the dark had been faking its demise. This has heavily colored how these powerful groups view this enormous release of funds. Our task is to prove that these beliefs have no foundation. At the present time, our massive program to successfully counter these unsubstantiated beliefs is working. The elders clearly see that a release of this immense stockpile of funds cannot cause any form of failure. Although the dark may be able to steal some of these funds, we possess the means to quickly recover them and arrest any who are involved. Because of this now proven capability, the elders and the royals are at last ready to firmly reset release dates. Thus, we deeply feel that the global RV exchanges can actually be realized and therefore permit the complex RV process to commence. These massive exchanges can then lead to the distribution of the prosperity packages and to new governance. Once the new monies are released, it will advance a whole host of fundings that has been on hold for months. These holds had stalled release of a great many bonds, humanitarian funds, and other similar projects. We anticipate that in the coming weeks, all of these funds that had been held up by the Chinese and European elders can finally be processed and distributed to those long promised these very special monies. Another accomplishment is the neutralizing of the dark cabal's minions in the present corrupt government regimes of this realm. We are confident that these decisions are final and are to allow the world's many societies to be flooded with monies formerly held up for years. These funds can quickly make possible the commencement of a number of key sanitation, water, and housing projects. Your world needs as well to end its long dependence on Gaia's natural resources. These projects include another vital ingredient, namely, to end the destruction of natural ecosystems. All of this is, of course, only the beginning. This affects humanity in a number of different ways. The stalling prolongs malicious strategies that are designed to use the religious ways of this realm to create disasters. It is these potential disasters that trouble many and cause the villains of this globe to rejoice. So many possibilities are currently present. Your world is swiftly transforming, and it is important for the flow of the funds to quickly manifest. Many are ready to finally end the old, and begin a steady march toward a new global resolution. We see that your growing consciousness is being exercised in new and wondrous ways. The old beliefs are being expunged and a new reality is slowly starting to manifest. It is in this consciousness exchange that we find hope for your new and ever-growing realities. Our liaisons are watching all of this unfold, and we are in constant contact with the Ascended Masters and our Agarthan cousins. Their joint reflections are that you are growing in many different directions. What is truly required is some wise supervision. You need to discover the histories that were conveniently lost by the Anunnaki and their malicious minions. This process is something that your Ascended Masters are to be first to convey. We are to further detail these presently hidden events to you via a number of discussions that your mentor is to tell you about. Initially, the Anunnaki used advanced technology and later allowed the minions to maintain awe and power by exploiting that technology. This whole set of past historical episodes needs to be reviewed in detail. We have in our possession a history that is best explained by time travel. All of this can be very confusing. So be aware that much is still to be told to you. These true stories are to set the stage for your return to full consciousness. Namaste. We are your Ascended Masters. We are most pleased with what is happening around this world. Everywhere, a new expanding consciousness is becoming a significant factor. You are moving beyond what was taught you by the dark, and you deeply wish to forge new thoughts and new ways for yourself. With this, there are also the old perceptions that continue to stick to you like glue. We ask that you use your joint commitments to overcome these difficulties. Just remember to forge new pathways and use your shared experiences to achieve magnificent possibilities. 
Your positivity is the key, as are your visions. These things can help you to produce the goals you so wish to accomplish. So be brave and willing to take viable chances. These two qualities can permit you to achieve great deeds. Each of you is growing in your own unique way. You need to concentrate on the best method to attain your highest desire. One of the things that you need to do is to mentally refocus how you wish to carry out your plans. In other words, construct a mind map. This plan can show you, step by step, how best to put together your vision. Many of the masters do this constantly. We can then use these as guides to actually implement what is required to complete these blessed plans. As you become skilled in working with plans, you can create and easily manifest whatever you need, and observe how your flow operates. One of the best ways to do this is simply to break down your initial idea into the required steps. Then reflect upon how your flow in this vision works. The rest can be easy to do. All of this inner processing is important in obtaining a better understanding of how you can best achieve what you want. The other key element is simply to discover how you work and communicate with yourself. This discovery of how you proceed is a key to working successfully with others. In all cases, you need to remain positive and regard your projects as successful endeavors. Another factor is to remain a strong part of the global collective. What is unfolding is, in reality, a collective enterprise. It is your magnificent, positive vision, that together with our efforts, is empowering you to succeed. Many individuals are achieving great feats only because of what you have done to set the field for them. Let us thank you all, and bless you for the energies that you have freely given to these projects to transform Gaia and her peoples. Hosanna! Hosanna! Today, we have continued to give you reports to explain what is occurring around this globe. All of these events have been made possible by your positive envisioning. The time for these great changes is now. Know, dear ones, that the countless supply and never-ending prosperity of heaven are indeed yours. So be it. Selamat Gajan. Selamat Ya, Syrian for B1. And be in joy. Channeled by Sheldon Nidal www.paoweb.com